Cancun is recognized throughout the world for its spectacular white sand beaches and its fascinating sea in blue tones. With unique natural places, Mayan culture, water activities and adventure, international cuisine, spectacular golf courses, sophisticated spa facilities, exclusive shopping centers, typical handicraft markets, as well as shows, bars, and nightclubs, than give fame of its incomparable nightlife. My name is Javier Pineda, and I'm extremely happy to take you to discover a new vision of Cancun under the all-inclusive by Marriott perspective. We will meet the extraordinary team of the Armor House Cancun Resort. We will learn about the destination and we will give you some tips. So let's start this journey. We have today the fortune and opportunity to also talk to our area vice president for the Caribbean and managing director for All Inclusive, Alex Fis, who will be able to give us an insight of All Inclusive by Marriott. Hi, Alex. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Javier. It is uh, my pleasure to be here with you all. And, and thank you, of course, uh, for coordinating these events and for allowing us to share more about the All Inclusive by Marriott. I'm extremely happy uh, to share with you the thoughts and to talk about the projects. Uh, after years in the making, uh, we now are at the moment that we're showcasing these to our customers, to our guests, uh, to the travel advisors, and we're extremely happy with it. I know it, it has been a journey from the beginning of this all-inclusive new platform. Um, I wanted to ask why this project, why all-inclusive? Well, that's a great question. You know, we decided to enter into the all-inclusive space uh, many years ago, but we decided to work behind the scenes uh, to prepare our brands, to prepare the experiences, uh, to define clearly how we will be distinctive, and of course, to maximize our distribution channels and to optimize our technology. Uh, so now we have the opportunity to put all of these elements into execution and to showcase that to our guests, which is uh, a great opportunity and we're very, very happy with it. That is so true. And with that, I might ask, what plans do you have for All Inclusive in Mexico and Caribbean? Well, we're growing in many places. Uh, we're growing in uh, the Caribbean and of course in Mexico and Central America and even in South America. Uh, if I look forward, we have in the next few months the integration of our 19 resorts uh, with the Blue Diamond Agreement. We also have the reopening of the beautiful Armour House in Cancun. And then we have the conversion of two opportunities that we've been working with. Uh, so owners, independent owners, one in Mexico, in Nayarit, and one in Brazil, in Porto de Galinhas are two hotels which are existing. Both ownership groups are investing significant amount of money to elevate those products and experiences. And we're going to be converting those hotels into Delta by Marriott in Nayarit, Mexico, and Westin, all-inclusive in Porto de Galinas in, uh, in Brazil, which is a great opportunity. Wow, that is amazing. And 
Are you planning opening resorts only? But today, the majority of our resorts are a beach or uh, connected to the beach, no? Uh, so the case of Nayarit will be more like a jungle resort experience, but only five, eight minutes connecting with the beach club on the beach in, in Puerto Vallarta. But I'm pretty sure when we look forward, there's more opportunities to expand the all-inclusive portfolio into other type of resorts. Uh, the ones that will bring, you know, a mountain experience, that maybe uh, they bring a ski experience, uh, maybe they are more related to a culinary or um, winery experience. So it's all about creating these incredible uh, leisure experiences that can connect all the elements uh, to easy travel. Uh, so I'm pretty sure in the, in the near future we will see other type of products, not only beach related uh, in the all-inclusive space. And what about cities? Any all-inclusive hotel plan for big cities? Well, in big cities, uh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I don't imagine uh, myself uh, into an all-inclusive environment into a big city. I think the people that go to a big city on vacations, maybe they have a shorter length of stay and maybe they are more attractive to explore and to take advantage of what a city can offer. Um, I think the opportunity really is more about uh, going into key destinations where uh, you offer and you guarantee uh, a perfect experience for vacations uh, in destinations that sometimes may be some level of exotism. Um, so the growth of markets like Jamaica and Dominican Republic and Costa Rica, um, of course, all the islands in the Caribbean uh, and Mexico. Um, Mexico has a lot more to offer in new cities that are not so um, well recognized as it can be, you know, like Los Cabos or Vallarta or Cancun. There's a lot more about Mexico that I'm sure we'll be uh, uh, sharing very soon uh, with all-inclusive opportunities. And uh, there's other countries in South America that will benefit from this incredible platform. So thank you very much for, for the opportunity to share this. I think that's very helpful for, helpful for the audience, Alex. Thank you. We can wait to showcase all those hotels in the near future. Thank you so much for joining and for uh, taking the time to ask our questions. Oh, absolutely. Uh, happy to be here again, Xavier, anytime. And thank you to all the travel advisors for the incredible job that you do and to sustain this idea that we will all travel again. Thank you and be safe. Thank you. So let's start learning about this great destination and we will give you tips for for this uh, opportunity and the tip number one is the sun won't burn your feet if you thought cancun beaches couldn't get any better they just did the 14 miles of shimmering white sands found in this stunning city are actually made of crushed coral meaning it will naturally feel cool underneath bare feet despite however hot the weather January is a great time to visit Cancun with temperatures averaging 23 to 27 Celsius, perfect for lazy days on the beach. Tip number two, it's a great time to visit Cancun just to visit the Maya Barrier Reef, which is the second largest in the world. Second only to Australia's famous Great Barrier Reef. The Maya Barrier Reef is one of the Cancun's major draws full of color, biodiversity, and marine life. Swaying so corals and crystal clear waters to swim and snorkeling. If you want to go snorkeling or scuba diving, Cancun is a great pick, with plenty of schools on hand to help you achieve your party certification. Tip number three, it has the longest underwater cave in the world. Cancun is best known as its snorkeling and diving opportunities. And while most enthusiasts would be happy exploring the reef, the cenotes are even more sensational. The largest of which is known as Ox Bel Ha, which at 134 miles makes it the longest underwater cave in the world. You can explore them for yourself if you are an avid diver while some areas are fine for snorkeling or just surface swimming in. Cancun draw more than 2 million tourists each year. 
Cancun sits in the Mexican state of Quintana Roo. Let's take a look of Quintana Roo. This is the Mexican Caribbean, the place where all kinds of events take on a new meaning. The place that combines two worlds, the breathtaking natural venues of the Caribbean and incomparable Mexican celebrations. Welcome to the destination where meetings become an exchange of knowledge, smiles, and laughter. The destination that motivates you to create successful projects inspired by its beautiful beaches, exuberant jungle, and pristine cenotes. Here you will find state-of-the-art facilities where architecture and technology mix perfectly with the ancient Mayan culture. You will hold your business meetings where you will have everything within your reach. You will feel the Mexican touch in every detail. You will participate in thrilling activities and put your skills to the test while connecting with nature to create a team with your associates. You will also attend fascinating conferences and exhibitions at the best venues in the Caribbean, enjoy impressive stagings, and experience the perfect wrap-up with a cocktail by the sea. Leave everything in the hands of the experts and get ready to enjoy this paradise where every kind of event is possible. This is where the most incredible experiences take place and where your business trip always becomes so much more than what you expected it to be. This is the Mexican Caribbean, the best of two worlds. <clears throat> My personal selection, definitely I want to visit Tulum. I want to swim in the cenotes. I want to go to, Ch to Chichen Itza. And I would love to have a normal Mayan family experience, what they eat, their habits, and learn about their history, of course. We have Maria Lozano, Director of Sales and, uh, and Marketing for the Armor House Cancun. Welcome, Maria. Can you tell us more about the destination and also the protocols in Cancun about COVID-19? Welcome, Maria. Thank you so much, Javier. I'm very happy to be here and I'm very excited to see how happy you are talking about Cancun. Cancun is an amazing place. As Javier mentioned, it's in Quintana Roo, which is located southeast of Mexico in the Yucatan Riviera. That makes the culture Mayan, which the food, I think it's one of the best in the country. Cancun is a place that offers all kinds of travel and experiences that you might want. You can go from aqua sports, uh, from jet ski or water skiing. You can go to the paradisiac beach of Cancun and just relax and sunbathe. You can also visit nature and adventure. As Javier mentioned, there are a lot of cenotes which are amazing to swim in and to, and to explore. There are also a lot of archaeological sites, Majin uh, culture archaeological sites, and with this they come history and museums. You can also go golfing or shopping. The nightlife in Cancun is amazing, but Cancun is also about wellness. And with all of this, you can also go with families to the theme or nature parks. As you can see, Cancun has a lot to offer. And not just that, it also has a wide gastronomical offer that goes from native inspired Mayan restaurants to also all kinds of international and worldwide chains uh, offerings. Now, I want to talk about the little elephant of the room, about safety protocols, about hygiene. Well, Cancun was one of the first cities to get the safety travel stamp from the World Travel and Tourism Council. So, as you can say, it's safe to fly to Cancun. At the airport, you can find that all terminals are 100% compliant with hygiene protocols. We also have social distancing in the inter-terminal transportation, the elevators, the passenger inspection points. Also, we have protective acrylic on counters, antibacterial gel dispensers all around the place, temperature control, control. there's constant cleaning. All passengers need to fill out a form or uh, that identifies them as a risk or not factors. Also, there are temperature sensors, constant uh, cleaning inside of the planes, and also uh, there is disinfection of automobiles, buses, or other land transportation that is used within uh, the, the terminals. 
But with that, I want to show you a video from Azur, our airport in Cancun, to better understand how uh, safety it is to travel to Cancun. Now with that, I want to go back to you, Javier. Thank you, Maria. Very useful information. Also, we have a special guest. We want to welcome the general manager of the Armor House Cancun, Mr. Juan Piñeiro. Welcome, Juan. We're very happy to have you here. Good morning, Javier. And it's my pleasure to be here and to introduce to all of you this amazing property that we have been developing over a year now. The Armor House Hotel, is the first all-inclusive hotel that we operate in Cancun and in Mexico. The hotel has an incredible location in the heart of the hotel zone, close to the best luxury shopping area, and with one of the largest beach area in the zone. I am very excited about this new hotel and can't wait for it. But please, Juan, can you tell us more about what we can expect about COVID-19 procedures and protocols in the hotel? Of course, Javier. We understand that our guest safety is very important. That's why we have developed safety protocols regarding COVID that align to our commitment to clean policy. As an example, we will have the appropriate signage in order to keep a safe distance. We will provide hand sanitizer at strategic points. All of our staff will have the appropriate protection. We will also be facilitating COVID testing on site. And I could go on, but who better talk about the measures that Mr. Marriott himself. For over 90 years, Marriott International has been dedicated to taking care of our guests with a focus on quality, exemplary service, and trust. 
Today, these values are more critical than ever. As we welcome you back to our hotels around the world, we are committed to providing you with a safe environment that aligns with expert protocols for working to defeat COVID-19. With consultation from our experts in public health, we are redefining our cleaning and safety standards. Starting with our public spaces and high traffic areas, we're going above and beyond our normal protocols. We are cleaning services with increased frequency, dedicated staff, and recommended cleaning agents. Hand sanitizing stations are being installed at hotel entrances, at our front desks, our elevator banks, and meeting spaces. Signage in public spaces will remind our guests to maintain social distances. We will be adding partitions at check-in to provide extra level of precaution for our guests and their associates. In our guest rooms, we have added to our rigorous protocols, ensuring all surfaces are thoroughly cleaned with hospital-grade disinfectants. And we will be placing disinfecting wipes in each room for your use. We're rolling out enhanced technologies, including electrostatic sprayers, sanitized surfaces throughout the hotel. Our mobile technologies provide reassurance and distancing options for guests in over 3,200 hotels, your phone can be used to check in, access your room, and order room service. It can be specially packaged and delivered right to your door without contact. We will actively monitor and evolve our solutions to ensure a continued focus on the health and safety of our guests and associates. So when the time is right, we're here, ready to welcome you back. I'm Bill Marriott, and you've got my word on it. That is a fantastic one. And as you mentioned, for Marriott, safety and security for our guests and associates is a priority. We're going back with Maria Lozano, who is ready to show us this beautiful property. The question for all our audience today is, are you ready for Armor House Cancun? Maria, are you ready? I am ready and I am so excited. As I talked to you uh, before about Cancun, now let me talk to you about this baby called Armor House. I'm so happy about this beautiful property. As Mr. Pinero uh, mentioned before, it is located just 21 minutes from the airport. So it has one of the best locations, very exclusive, where you can find a lot of shopping, nightlife, golf, museums, everything nearby. Its location also makes you enjoy of two beautiful views because you have the Paradisia Caribbean Ocean that everybody knows is postal card worth, but you also have the amazing sunset at the lagoon. So either view, you'll be amazed. As an all-inclusive hotel, you will be able to enjoy also of different leisure activities. We have two pools. One is in the main area where you can relax in our sun chairs, or we also have the deck pool where you can dance and enjoy the live DJ music as well as a different cabanas or deck pool, or deck tables. Also, Mr. Pinero mentioned before, we have one of the largest beach areas. This means that everybody can be there and just relax, enjoy your cocktails, or also do some sports and different activity, leisure activities that we will have available for you. But enough of me telling you. Let's go directly to the source so you can have a taste of the beautiful resort. Alejandro, our events manager, will happily give us a tour around and some of the rooms. Let's go with you, Alejandro. Hello, everyone. Good morning from the heart of the hotel zone in Cancun, Mexico. I'm here in front of the Arma House All Inclusive Resort. So please join me to explore what this vibrant resort has to offer. Armor House is located 25 minutes northeast of the Cancun International Airport. This lifestyle resort has a prime spot on the main strip and breathtaking views to the pools and the Caribbean Sea. Now I'm at the highest level of this 17-story hotel to show you two of its signature suites with the most amazing Cancun landscapes. To your left is your open bathroom concept area with modern lighting beautiful mirrors, and two elevated bolts. 
Next to this, you will find your shower area. It has two rainfall shower heads, an adjustable shower head, and complementary amenities that are refilled as needed. It has modern finishes, an intuitive design, and even a spot for fresh towels. This area overlooks your large and luxurious soaking tub. It has an additional handheld spout and trendy design. There's plush seating and carpeting to make you feel at home. Next up is the bathroom area, with comfy king-size bed that with soft linens and plush pillows. At the end of your bed is your large full-length mirror. The two bedside tables have pop-up with both electrical and USB outlets. Here you will find your television remotes. The smaller one controls your hidden 55-inch television that pops up from the base of your bed. Next to this is your sitting area, with gorgeous modern artwork and vibrant furniture. Now, onto one of the best parts of the room, the balcony. From here, you can see the entire property and soak up all those Cancun blues from your oceanfront junior suite. Or enjoy the sundown landscape at your sunset view junior suite. Our next stop is the oceanfront villa. Placed conveniently by the door and across from your open concept bathroom area. It has a plush seat for your comfort and a large wall of storage. There's plenty of shelving up top. The site here is a private toilet area. Next to this is a modern bathroom complete with bench, double rainfall shower heads, additional handheld shower head, and sleek fixtures. You will find complimentary amenities that are restocked as needed. And take a peek at the rest of the room through your intriguing glass pane. The vanity area is bright, crisp, and spacious, with a center opening, beautiful twin backlit mirrors, and elevated bowl sinks. Next up is the bathroom area. There's an inviting sitting area with music-inspired artwork, stylish furniture, and an eclectic design with incredible attention to detail. The lighted etched ceiling offers a luxurious atmosphere and frames the comfy king-size bed. Here you will find plush pillows, soft linens, and a cozy bedside bench. Find additional lighting both underneath and showcasing the artwork overhead. The bedside table has written lights, USB and electric outlets. Across the room, there's your entertainment area. Now again, onto my favorite part of the room, the private full oceanfront view terrace. You will find trendy matching wood loungers with towels for your convenience, next to your indulgent private hot tub. This prime oceanfront spot gives you impressive views of the beautiful blue Cancun Strip. What did I tell you, Javier? Beautiful views. Um, I have a question from the audience. What about the sunset and the sunrise? Um, is the sunset at the ocean view or the lagoon view? No, as, as I mentioned, the sunset is at the lagoon, but the sunrise is at the, at the ocean. So either view will have this amazing feature. That is that is great. And what is the basic uh, entry level uh, category for the hotel? That's another the, question from the audience. We have the deluxe category, which is located on the first floors, from the first to the uh, to the tenth floor. Uh, we have both views, lagoon or ocean view. Obviously, lagoon would be the base one, and then you have uh, the ocean view. Another question from the audience, Maria. Is this hotel adults only? And what type of experiences for adults only do we have? That's a very good question, Javier. Right now, we are family friendly. That means that you can uh, bring your kids. They are allowed. Uh, the, the hotel is having a conversion 
to another brand. When the conversion is finished, it will be adult only. But meanwhile, it is kids friendly. The only thing is that we don't have a kids oriented uh, activity menu. We have it more oriented to adults. What kind of activities and leisure they have? Well, we have the pool deck where they will have uh, live DJ. Also, we have a bar that, that has live music. And we have an amazing speakeasy that's hidden inside the, the hotel that you will also be enjoying. I'm getting hungry, Maria. What options do we have in food and beverage for this hotel? That is a great question, Javier. As you can, uh, as you can see, the hotel has this trendy and stimulating feeling that it's not on, only leisure. It also has a lot of different food and beverage offerings that you can ask from room service, enjoy mini bar amenities, or different specialty restaurants and bars. But who better to tell us more about the, uh, about this than our F&B manager and supervisor, Isaac Galvez and Alfredo Aguilera. We go with them right now. Hello, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the food and beverage offerings that we will have at Alma House. Now, let me host you to our buffet restaurant called Social. In here, you will be able to get your breakfast buffet, lunch, and dinner. This restaurant showcases a variety of international food and has also live station, which can make your experience even more delightful. Let's move now to our signature Mexican restaurant. This is my personal favorite. Here, you can appreciate a delightful margarita with an amazing view. This restaurant has an a la carte menu and has different options for lunch and dinner. When you come, be sure to try the Alambre de Pato, a real star dish that highlights the culture of the place. Now, let me introduce you to our Asian restaurant, Botanico. With a dinner menu that has variety of food, from Japanese to Vietnamese and Thai. Also has its own teppanyaki grill. If you think of it, it's like having dinner with a show. And do not miss the bar, in which our specialty drinks is a matcha-based special cocktail. Besides our specialty restaurants, you can also taste our amazing drinks at our different bars. In the pool area, in each restaurant. Or at our signature bars like the Champagne Bar. Also, you can get your coffee, pastries, or snacks at our coffee corner. Open all day for you to enjoy. Now that you're getting familiar with our offerings and our specialty restaurants, we will be waiting for you to try them. Thank you for joining us, and back to you, Maria. Now I am hungry, Javier. As you can see, me we too. <laughs> As you can see, we have so many offerings. But tell me, what's your favorite dish? You know, I was looking for some information about Mexican food in, in, in this area of Yucatan. And for that, I have the tip number four for all the audience about Yucatan dishes. We have the chilaquiles, the huevos motuleños, the papazules, pavo relleno negro, pibil, poc chuk, queso relleno, and salbutes. And to be honest, Maria, I don't have idea of any of these names that uh, definitely I will need to explore all of them. Of course you will. I mean, I'm just salivating just by hearing them. I need some huevos motuleños right now. <laughs> Great. Well, now that you can know more about the Mayan culture and the Mayan dishes, I hope that you come to Cancun to try them and explore them with all of the people in the audience. Definitely, definitely. I know you have a recap for, for this hotel. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, Javier. So now we have a better look of, of the Armour House, but I want to just give a little summary so that you can keep it on, the mind, uh, on your mind. 
So our house has an amazing location, just 21 minutes from the airport, in front of shopping centers, leisure area, uh, <clears throat> nightlife, and all sorts of other types of activities. The hotel is designed to be a vibrant, trendy, and all-inclusive hotel in the area of Cancun. And as an all-inclusive, you will be able to have a lot of offerings, including our specialty restaurants, Talavera, Botanico, Coffee Corner, and Lobby Bar. We also have a lot of rooms offerings that go from the deluxe room to all sorts of streets that are in front of the ocean or also have an amazing view of the sunset in the lagoon. And not just that, you can also enjoy leisure at its best in both of our pools and our beach. You can relax, hear the live DJ music, or just get a cocktail or order something from our bar. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, Maria, for this great presentation. I think we have a, a clear idea of what the Armor House is about um, and also about Cancun. Definitely the culture of Mexico reflects the country's mixture between native culture uh, with Spanish culture and other Mexican cultures. But the truth is that the, this destination is fun, is color, is culture. We invite you to keep participating in this roadshow. The next step will be in Puerto Vallarta, also in Mexico. We really appreciate uh, your participation. Now we will open um, the, the questions and comments and within the chat that if you have any questions, please, please share it in, uh, and, and we will be responding all your questions. Thank you.